What's up, my brothers from another mother? Probably one of the last drives of the season, as you can tell by the title of this video. Uh, we're talking today about TRT, testosterone optimization, replacement, whatever it is you want to call it. That is the topic of today's uh, discussion, and it is incredibly important. I thought, what better car to do this talk in than the R8 before I store it? Naturally aspirated V10, gated manual. I just had it serviced, driving gorgeously. So let's hop straight into it. But before I do, I want to talk about um, like a precautionary warning, because when you start having conversations about optimizing uh, male hormones, um, you get a little bit of hate. Uh, it's okay when women do it, but when guys do it and they talked about optimizing themselves, uh, you'll get things like, ooh, you're doing steroids, uh, why don't you just age naturally, and blah, blah, blah. Um, this is by far one of the best things I've ever done in my 40s. Uh, it is something that every man should consider. Uh, haters will come at you, okay? I mean, this is, this is, no, this is no different than uh, women, you know, getting a boob job after gravity sets in after a few kids. This is no different than a uh, Botox injection. This is no different than what women do when it comes to um, things like uh, optimizing their hormones around menopause. So it's an incredibly uh, important conversation and somewhat, um, you know, it's almost like it's avoided by men uh, because the difference between men and women when it comes to aging is when women hit menopause, it's obvious. They know it's like a big uh, drastic change in their, their hormonal balance. Um, when it comes to men though, it's very slow and gradual. After the age of 30, testosterone drops by about 1% per year. Um, you know, pretty much until you die. Um, but the interesting thing that I noticed about the clinic that I'm using is probably about 75% of the visitors that go there are mostly women. So uh, a lot of guys don't get this conversation message. So it's incredibly important we talk about it. So first things first, I'll get into the, um, my why. I think we can, oh yeah, that sounds so good. I think we can hit the road now. Um, the, the why behind doing something like this is quite simple. Um, you want to feel better. I pretty much always knew, uh, starting my twenties that at some point I would have to probably consider going on TRT, um, because of, you know, the obvious fact that I said earlier, I mean, you know, men's testosterone drops as you get older, your body's not going to function the same way. Um, I started after, I don't know, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, I started, you know, coming up with these symptoms. Um, which were really annoying. I mean, I just wasn't operating optimally, if you will. I hope you can hear me okay. This car is a little bit loud. Um, and w what you should understand is you're going to start to notice. It's going to be obvious. I went through a, a couple of things in my life that were extremely stressful, which I'm, I'm suspecting probably triggered the need for me to look at this. Um, terrible sleep. I mean, you know, after a divorce and some crappy things that happened with my business and a really bad breakup with a bad, you know, woman, single mommy sort of deal. Um, you know, you end up with a lot of stress. Cortisol levels will change your hormonal balance, will, you know, modify slightly. So it's pretty natural. Um, but the added compound is like fueling the fire. Terrible sleep. Uh, one of the things I noticed was a lot of brain fog. I wasn't able to focus and get things done. When I would go to the gym, for example, um, I wasn't that inclined to do what I would normally do there. Um, you know, sometimes I would go in and, and plan to do an hour thing. I do like 15, 20 minutes of some BS week out, you know, exercises, even with very low weights. I started to notice my strength was going down. Um, you know, your joints, you know, kind of like feel a little bit different after a while. Um, another symptom that, that guys notice as well is a lot less morning wood. So when you start looking at something like testosterone optimization, ideally what it's supposed to do is get you to where you are around 30. And if you're optimally operating here around 30, um, I was pretty strong. I was always lifting weights um, around 200, 203 pounds when I was about 30 years old. I'm just under six foot three. Um, and I felt really good then. And this, this, this drastic slow change where you become weaker, you know, uh, you know, you sleep worse. Uh, you just don't feel as good anymore. Something's wrong. You know, something's wrong, right? So, you know, you go get it checked out. Well, here's what I found. But before we talk about that, I just want you guys to listen to this because this is, this is one of the finest engines ever made in a car. I just had the uh, engine service. I spent 1200 bucks on a carbon cleaning, changed all the fluids. So the intake, like one of the problems with these V10s is there's a, a carbon buildup. So let's see how this feels. Oh, mommy. Yeah, 
that's it. Okay, it's working good. Okay, so back to the TRT stuff. Um, I started to notice a problem, went to go check it out. Doctor basically runs a full blood lab on me. Um, so I started around November, December last year. Runs a full blood lab, wanted to try to optimize things naturally. He said my testosterone was in normal ranges. Now that's normal ranges based on government issued tables. What's normal is not what we feel optimal at based on these tables from my experience anyway. Um, I've talked to a few guys that are experts in this space and um, I actually learned that the normal range has been lowered over the last 20 to 30 years um, simply because men's testosterone is dropping so dramatically that um, they actually like you know it's almost like when the kids can't jump high enough to, to dunk the ball when they play basketball just lower the basketball hoop size well that's what they've done with these tables for testosterone they've they've basically lowered the um, optimal range so that it suits what people are registering at so they don't treat them uh, which is unfortunate because a lot of guys could benefit from uh, testosterone optimization treatment like I'm going to describe in this video so anyway um, we get the blood labs pulled he does a little bit of work um, it gives me a prescription for DHEA to try to increase that, hoping that that might optimize the other things. One of the other things that I was uh, dealing with was my estradiol was out of whack. It was too high versus my testosterone levels. So he tried some more natural treatments before he prescribed anything. Did another set of blood labs four months later, no improvement, complete static, nothing that uh, changed whatsoever. Which brings me to the other point, by the way guys, testosterone boosters, they are garbage, they do not work. Save your money, do not spend your money on that. If you're eating uh, clean, um, you're taking proper vitamins and mineral supplements like zinc, for example, boron, stuff like that, your testosterone levels will balance naturally if your body's functioning properly. The problem is, is we live a sedentary lifestyle. Um, you know, we've evolved basically as, um, what do they call us? They, you know, they call us endurance predators, meaning, you know, we used to run the savanna for two hours to run down a whatever, it was that we were hunting. And we don't do that kind of stuff anymore. We haven't for a very long time. We now mostly sit in front of computers. We're sedentary. Our bodies get bombarded with Wi-Fi's blue way, uh, um, Bluetooth signals, cell phone tower signals. There's all this crap attacking our endocrine system. And the mitochondria you know, in our body, especially in our balls as men, aren't always gonna function in an optimal fashion. So, I mean, I've met guys as young as you know, 33 that have had to have this prescribed to optimize their hormones and make them operate properly at an optimal level. So, back to the point. Um, if your optimal level's around here when you're 30, that's ideally what you're shooting for. Um, what'll end up happening is, as you get older, it starts to drop a little bit, and then you're no longer feeling optimal. There's a gap between where you know you feel good versus where you are, and that's what testosterone optimization treatment will do, is it'll optimize you to bring you back up to where you wanna be so that you feel good. All right, next thing, let's talk about the protocol that I'm on. So he prescribed after the second set of blood labs, all right, let's try introducing testosterone sipinate, which is a bioidentical, um, testosterone injection basically uh, well let's talk about delivery systems because some people will probably ask those questions there's pellets which are garbage they basically surgically surgically embed them in your body um, you want to try to avoid those in my opinion anyway you can do your own research there's creams which are very expensive and not very effective um, you know you can get them on your kids your dogs your spouse you don't want that so again I would discourage you from even considering that um, nasal sprays there's all kinds of delivery systems but the one that's tried true and proven that most guys are afraid of is uh, bi-weekly injections. Some some doctors will say three times a week, some it's, some it's bi-weekly. Uh, bi-weekly is what I'm doing, and yes, you have to pin yourself twice a week. Um, some clinics will try to get you to come in and have themselves do it, which I discourage simply because you don't need to do that. One, it's inconvenient, and two, they're just trying to make extra money off you. So. My doctor will just say, you know, here's you know, here's a prescription, here's how you do it. He shows you once and then you take care of yourself from there. So twice a week you're pinning yourself. Uh, there's a little bit of discomfort. Your hand shakes the first couple of times because you're nervous. You know, you're sticking a needle in yourself. But, you know, anybody that's done it more than once or twice gets comfortable. It's very, very easy. The pain level is very low. Uh, the amount of inconvenience is very low. It only takes 
you know, three or four minutes twice a week. Um, so the incub so you know, to put it in the perspective, is the juice worth the squeeze? It's a hell yeah. Uh, definitely it is worth the squeeze. Um, you know, it's no different than flossing your teeth. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but you need to get it done. Same sort of thing with this. Um, you can travel with it. You know, I've been down to the Caribbean. I've been down to the States with it. Um, you obviously pack the needles in your checked luggage and you keep your medication with you on the carry-on. Pretty straightforward stuff. My protocol also included about 45 days later, something called HCG. You can Google it. Um, but generally, well, to kind of break it down in layman's terms, the way the doctor you know described it, he says most single guys or guys that want to remain fertile or have kids will include HCG in the protocol. Um, married guys usually don't care. They'll just go with just testosterone. Um, the benefit to the HCG is multifold for me anyway. Uh, after about a month and a half of just being on testosterone sipinate, I found that I started to feel like I did before. I felt incredible for about three or four weeks. Um, and then one of the things that happens is your balls will start to atrophy. So your, te so your testicles will start to shrink a little bit because what happens is your body recognizes uh, testosterone levels are now optimal. We don't need to produce our own in our body and it's produced in your testicles in men. So let's just shut them down because we don't need those anymore. So uh, that can be somewhat uh, uncomfortable for men. So that's one of the drawbacks, uh, but quite easy to fix with HCG. Um, so you just add that to the same shot. I just include it in the same syringe in my bi-weekly shot, so it's not that inconvenient. Some clinics will want you to separate them, so you might be doing four shots a week. I just want to keep my life simple, and it seems to be working, so um, I just went with that. Protocol's fairly straightforward. Now, some of you guys early on were going, oh, steroids. Um, yeah, it is a anabolic, but it is not bodybuilder, okay, uh, dosage. It is not a bodybuilder protocol. That would, that would amount to somewhere between six to 10 times more on a weekly basis. It's much, much higher. Um, that's how they gain 20 to 30 pounds of muscle in six to eight months and end up with stretch marks and things like that. That's not what this is. This is not a bodybuilding body regime. It is an optimization regime, which is designed to get you back to feeling how you were when you were younger. Again, I feel close to where I was at 30. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm quite there yet, I want to go through a few more blood panels and we'll do a couple more tweaks along the way. But again, <clears throat> excuse me, I've only been doing this for about six or seven months. So that's my protocol, if that makes sense. Overall, it is a game changer. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're suffering with symptoms like lethargic, uh, shortness of breath, um, you know, not waking up with morning wood, you know, lower libido, things like that, uh, lack of strength, lack of focus. This will, this is a guaranteed game changer and any guy should consider looking at this. It doesn't matter if you're in your late thirties or forties, it can hit any guy at any given time. Again, I have a friend that's 33 who had testosterone right at the bottom of the charts and you know, he was eating healthy. He was taking care of himself. Um, it's just, you know, some people aren't able to manufacture optimal levels on their own. So there's that. I want to talk about how to find a clinic because that's a question that's always going to come up too. Uh, there's two ways to do it. In the US, there's a company called Entourage Medical. This is not a sponsorship. I don't get any clicks or anything for this. I don't have a coupon code for you. Uh, they do their stuff online. You can also just search, like if you live in Atlanta, for example, you might search testosterone replacement clinic Atlanta or uh, hormone optimization clinic Atlanta. Uh, that might get you to something. If that doesn't get you to something, you want to contact your local compounding pharmacy. Ask the pharmacist there uh, what doctor in the area optimizes male hormones and prescribes testosterone. That'll get you to the right place and a good starting point. Okay, and last but not least, I want to talk about myths. Uh, I did a long video with my buddy Jay Campbell. He has a YouTube channel called TOT Revolution. Uh, I'll link it in the description. You should check out his channel. He talks about this stuff almost exclusively. We did um, a video together. I think we found about a dozen or maybe 15 myths. I'll put a card on the top right of the screen. You should check that out. That'll, that'll bust and answer some of the myths or questions that you might have. Overall, guys, it is a game changer. Don't let anybody shame you or tell you not to do it or it's a bad idea. It is super easy. The juice is far more worth than the squeeze. The cost is not expensive. Uh, you know, I think my average cost for prescription and doctor care, because it's not covered under the health program in Canada, you're a guy, it's not going to be covered. Um, it's about 200 bucks a month, depending on what your protocol and what your dosage is. Uh, obviously, if the dosage is a little higher, it might cost you a tiny bit more, but it's not expensive. It's easy to administer. It's a game changer in your life. 
every, almost every area of your life will improve. And it's also uh, protective for you as you age as a man. You're not gonna end up, I'm not saying you're not going to, but the chance of you ending up with cardiovascular disease is much lower. Your body fat will reduce. Uh, your muscle mass will increase. Your bone density improves when you're on TRT. Um, there's, there's really no downsides. I mean, some of the downsides, if your dose is maybe a little bit too high, um, you might end up with a little bit of acne on your back. Um, some guys, you know, have, have that issue. If you're already predisposed to hair loss, it might accelerate it a little bit. I mean, who cares? I've already talked about hair loss. Just shave your head card on the top, right? Um, that's really it. I mean, the benefits far outweigh uh, any inconvenience, cost, or potential downside, in my opinion. Um, it also delays the onset of Alzheimer's. There's lots of studies and evidence that, that prove that this is essential to men. This is something every dude needs to consider. I can't emphasize this enough. I mean, I don't talk about stuff on my channel that I think is garbage. I want guys to become a better version of themselves, to live stronger, better, more focused. You know what the other thing is that I've noticed? I've also made more money while I've been on TRT. So. There you have it. I'll wrap up on that note. If you have any questions, you can leave in the comments below. Uh, I usually check them the first day the video is uploaded. If it's after that, you might want to book my time on clarity.fm. I'll leave the link pinned in the description as well. Happy to chat about it. Hope you guys have an amazing day. See you guys in the next video. Peace.